from a third world country to America, my mom always wanted us to go to college. You know, she was like, hey, you, you gotta go to college. You don't wanna end up as a janitor, do you? And throughout my entire life, I was stuck with that mentality. College or janitor, you know? <laughs> there was no in between. I either was gonna become a doctor and make six figures a year, or I'd be in school cafeterias, cleaning vomit off of the ground. And I was a pretty smart kid growing up. I, I was usually on the AB honor roll throughout my middle school days. And even before that, when I transferred to elementary schools in the fifth grade, I was the smartest kid in the entire building. And I don't think that it was that, you know, I was super smart. Just that a lot of people in the school were pretty stupid to say the least, you know? It's like, I do one thing. And the kids at school would be shocked, flabbergasted, socks completely blown off. Oh, oh my gosh, bro, you, you gotta teach us how to do that. Please, please teach us. And all I did was just write my name down on a piece of paper. But even though I had a history of being intelligent, the college or janitor ultimatum haunted me throughout my high school years because this was the point in my life that I started slipping up. And it wasn't because the classes were getting harder. It was because two things. I really disliked homework. In middle school, I could get away with not doing most of my homework and sometimes get away with doing no homework at all and still get AB honor roll, but high school weighted homework more, you know, making it harder to get good grades without it. Now, along with that, I was also introduced and addicted to this game called Lost Saga. Lost Saga. Now, I've talked about it on this channel before. Man, I, I love Lost Saga. The moment I hopped in on the game, I was like, damn. You can ruin my future anytime. I'd be up all night till three o'clock in the morning playing on my dad's dinosaur computer, just slapping, backhanding pay to win kids with pure skill. And on the other hand, I was half asleep in a homeroom math class, wasting my education away. And you know, I was like, you know what? I don't even care, bro. Forget paying attention, forget math class. I'm not going to college. Lost Saga's community is gonna grow and I'm gonna become a pro Lost Saga player. In fact, I probably don't even need to pay attention to pass this class. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? That was the first class I ever failed. Oh yeah, also, Lost Saga ended up dying out, so, you know, so much for that. And failing my math class, you know, failing the first and only class that I ever failed in my entire life only heightened my college or janitor anxiety. Now, along with that, teacher and guidance counselors would actively ask and remind you, hey, you, you going to college? Hey, make sure you got your mind set for college. Hey, can I talk to you for a little bit? I logged into your email last night and I, <laughs> I, I didn't see any college applications. They were probably even worse than my mom, you know? They made sure to make sure that you knew that you weren't gonna be shit if you didn't go to college. Especially when they were comparing the salary median between college kids and non-college kids. The average college graduate makes $300,000 a year, okay? The average high school graduate that doesn't go to college dies in a Nike sweatshop in China. And when it finally came time for me to apply to college in 12th grade, I didn't know what I wanted to do in college, you know? I didn't want to become a doctor, and even though I took two years of dental, I didn't even want to become a dentist or a dental assistant either. Now, if I applied to college at that moment, I'd only be doing it because I was peer pressured into doing so, you know? Also, I'm not sure if many of you guys know, but it costs money to send a college application. Not even to get into the college and start the learning. No, 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 just to send an application. <laughs> so, so let's put two and two together, all right? Kid has doubts about college. Kid has to pay to ask college if he can go to their college. Kid's family is poor as shit and can barely afford college. Kid ain't going to college. It was at that time I seriously decided, nah, you know, I, I don't think that college is for me, you know? I don't wanna go light years in a debt just because my school is telling me, hey, it's the hip thing to do, bro, J just do it. And you know what? I'm glad I didn't. Not only did I find success on YouTube, which has been my dream job since high school, but I hear frequent stories of people paying thousands of dollars to colleges just to end up working a regular nine to five cubicle job. You know, I hear people every day talking about, you know, get, getting politicians and billionaires to cancel school debt. And you know what? I feel like I dodged a fucking bullet, bro. This isn't to say, hey, don't go to college. You know, college is for losers. No, if you know what you wanna do and college requires it, go to college. In fact, I have a really good friend of mine that was so smart, he got a free full ride to college. They're actually paying him to learn. But for those people that are lost, college isn't mandatory for your success. And I'm not sure why school made me feel that way. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now if you'll excuse me, some kid just threw up in a cafeteria and I gotta go. Wait, what? You're still here? All right, fine, well, let's make a deal, all right? You like and subscribe? And I'll think about not busting your kneecaps, all right?